I'm at Vandihar Pioneer Field Agronomist in Central Iowa, and I'm in Marshall County, Iowa, in Central Iowa, and I am a day after a thunderstorm event that came through last night with a little bit of uh, wind and some rain, and this is the beginning of July, and um, we are 12 plus hours after that rainfall event and looking lower canopy, and we can still see plenty of leaf wetness, and we can see plenty of rain splash of soil particles on the leaves um, where they splashed up, and that can likely um, deliver some inoculum and initial infection, infections of diseases like gray leaf spot, uh, tar spot, northern corn leaf blight. And so this prolonged leaf wetness down here in the canopy, even though we're going to get closer to 90 degrees today, it's 75 degrees here late morning. And, uh, you know, this is when we can have infections um, that, that uh, get initiated and may show up about 14 days from now. Um, when you see those initial infections. And so we are seeing some initial tar spot lesions here um, in Marshall County, um, less than one out of 100 plants, but you can find it. It's on the lower leaves. And this is what it looks like. It does look like tar on the leaves. Here's another one here. Make sure you rub it, make sure it's not fly poop. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a raise to that. Um, sometimes you can feel a bump um, after that develops. And sometimes these can be pinpoint infections um, otherwise, they become oblong as they develop more um, aggressively throughout that uh, canopy. And so just want to show where those initial infection, infections are on these plants, on these wet leaves. And we likely could have caused uh, some more infection of, of multiple diseases here that may show up in the next coming weeks. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.